the Pair Like a Pro podcast. This week on the show, we have Tom Mitchell, one of the AFL's elite midfielders, uh, a Brownlow medalist and the vice captain of the Hawthorne Football Club. And he's about to launch his very own app, Ball Magnets. Before we start episode 28, the Prepare Like a Pro podcast, we have our mission here where we're empowering aspiring athletes and staff with practical knowledge from some of the industry's most inspiring individuals to strengthen the AFL community. If you like the show, please follow us on Instagram and subscribe to the podcast. We are on all your favorite streams, YouTube, iTunes, and Spotify. Bear with me, guys. I'm just going to invite Tommy on. Remember to send through your questions for Tommy as well by using the question button at the bottom of your screen. Hey, Tommy. How you going, mate? Good, Jack. How are you, mate? Going well. I think we just got some good news, us Victorians. I just saw that. Yeah, it's good to know that lockdown 3.0 is going to be finished. Is it tonight it's finished? I believe so, yeah. Got to find out the details, but uh, it definitely looks positive. That's a good result, isn't it? Great result. Thanks for jumping on again, mate. 2.0. Looking forward yeah, to this chat. Yeah, no, it's, it's 2.0 for us, isn't it? It was a good chat last time, and yeah, we've got a few different topics this time, so looking forward to getting stuck into it. Absolutely. I think Ball Magnets was in its infancy back then, so it's now well and truly alive and, and out there for, for everyone to see, and, and everyone's uh, getting aware of it, uh, and it's launching in March, which is around the corner, which is super exciting. Yeah, it looks like late March will be launching, which will coincide well with the start of the AFL season, so there's obviously going to be a fair bit of excitement around uh, the footy starting again with you know the game going back to normal length quarters and yeah I think with that excitement to be able to create an app alongside some um, pretty special players and people we think we've got some content that people will find quite interesting and insightful and a bit of fun as well absolutely mate take us back to the beginning how was the creation made with ball magnets where did the idea come from and yeah how did you come up with the concept yeah well we probably don't have COVID to thank for a lot of things but funnily enough ball magnets was inspired through COVID basically how the idea came about was that I suppose it was through a good gesture. I, I like to go down to my local footy club, Ashburton. There's another local club in the area, Campbell Sharks. And just on a Tuesday night, Thursday night, things like that, just go and have a kick with the kids from just different age groups. And I was just sort of giving them drills and things like that, that that I like to do and that we do at AFL level. And I suppose just doing some educating around ways to think of the game. And a few of the parents really thought it was quite insightful and pretty good. So they said that I should do something about it. And they suggested I build an app, which I had no idea how to do so I've, I've been surrounded yeah. by some pretty fortunate people adam hilton and Stuart harker if they're watching i don't know if they will be but yeah they've really helped get it get it off the ground and then i suppose my job from there was to find some elite talent from around the comp so i got patty cripps lucky neil matty rao and a number of other guests which i'm sure we'll, we'll touch on after but yeah those guys were pretty keen to give back as well and especially with covid and kids not being able to participate and play the game, but you can still improve through following the drills and skills and insights that we'll provide. Amazing. And, and the and the name Ball Magnets, such a fitting name for yourself and the other guys that you mentioned, Cripps and Rao and, and Lucky Neil, all Ball Magnet Machines. How did the name, do you remember the day you came up with it or how did it come to life? Oh, I don't think that was, I, I can't take credit for it. We, we have a creative team at Stratosphere Agency, so they're the agency that a digital marketing agency, which Adam, I mentioned his name before, but he operates. And yeah, we've, we've got a few guys in there as a part of the creative team and they came up with the name and it sounded quite catchy and that term gets thrown around a little bit, I suppose, in footy terminology. And yeah, just, I don't know, it was one of those things that we thought people would be attracted to and yeah, that's how it sort of came about. Ah, fantastic, mate. You mentioned, so there's a team behind the team with Adam. What about the footballs that you got involved? It's quite the A-team. How did that come about? How did you, are they mates of yours? Yeah, explain a little bit your relationships and connections with the team that you brought on at Ball Magnets. Yeah, so it's funny when you go through your AFL journey, how you just seem to create relationships with guys just being in the same caper. Paddy Cripps, a bit of a Western Australian connection, I think. So uh, what, one of my best mates and housemates was from the same country town as Paddy. So we sort of got to know each other quite well and our parents know each other. Lockie, I've met him overseas a couple of times and uh, we always just send across paths. And Matty Rao, he's done some training with my old man and obviously went to Kerry Grammar, same school as me. So there's a few connections there. But and then we've also had guest players, which when we've shot at Edge Training and Iron Edge with yourself, guys like Toby Green and Jack Viney, who I've known my whole life um, through junior footy, Dylan Shiel, who I've known through the AIS program years ago, Taylor Adams, Josh Dunkley, the, the Swans connection there throughout both our dads playing there. So it's funny how you just sort of build relationships with players around the league and then yeah, everyone seems to be willing to want to give back and, and help out, which is really nice. Fantastic. Yeah, that's amazing, mate. And, and so those, the grassroots kids that you are helping, is that what the app's designed for? Is it for, maybe for those that aren't aware of it, who is the app designed for and, and what will they expect to get out of uh, signing on to Ball Magnets? Yeah, well, we think it's for everyone. We think it's for no matter what level you are, it's going to make you better and it's going to be a bit of fun as well. There's, there'll be some challenges, some challenging uh, skills and tricks and things, which will be quite engaging that 
even we as professional players really struggle with. So some of the content will be tough. It won't be basic, but I think people enjoy a challenge. There'll be little competitions um, against us, which you can do with everything in the app. And yeah, I suppose each, each week you'll get a new footy session. So it'll be a roughly 15 minute session, handball and kicking, marking, all the drills that we do. And a 15 minute strength session is just those little extra things that are going to help you improve. So whether you're aspiring AFL or AFLW player, boy or girl, at the top level, hoping to get drafted. If you're already playing at the top level, you may be interested. And from ages 10 and above, like we think the app will be able to cater for everyone who just loves the game and wants to be their best and get the edge. Yeah, fantastic, mate. And that's something you definitely mentioned. I know our last chat that I've had followers on Instagram talk about over and over again, focusing on those one percenters and, and getting ahead of getting that competitive edge you're talking about by putting in the work. So this will give a bit of direction for even parents maybe like who want to go out with their son and don't know what drills to do. They'll be able to follow you out. And every week there's some new content, which is awesome. Keeps things interesting, doesn't it? Yeah, no, it'll be good. And some of the content as well, it's going to be some sort of podcast type content, I guess, some Q&A stuff, some getting to know the players on a deeper level because I think we're all guilty of it as players. When we get interviewed and things like that, we keep our cast pretty close to our chest, but you're going to see some true personality out of guys like Matty Rao, which is it's going to be some pretty awesome stuff. And yeah, I think the, you touched on before the ability to do things with a parent or a friend or all the drills are designed to do either by yourself with a partner or in a small group. So you don't need a whole team of people. This is something you can do. You can grab your brother or sister or your parent or a parent, and go outside and basically do it do it right there and then. So when I say it was inspired by COVID, it's because when you're locked up, when locked down, mm-hmm. you can't get together with your whole team. So you need you need to find other ways, little little ways you can be better almost just by doing it with one other person or with two other people and yourself just to improve and find ways to do it. Fantastic. And uh, you mentioned the connection with Iron Edge. So that's something you're an ambassador at Iron Edge, I believe, and uh, you've been involved with them and then they're uh, involved in the app as well. What, what's the setup look like there? I know you've, we've been catching up at the gym, the Edge training. Yeah, how does it work with, with Iron Edge and what's involved? the strength and conditioning point of view. Yeah, so obviously Rico is your boss. I've got to be able to build a good relationship with Rico over the years. He's a great guy. And you're obviously a head trainer down at Edge Training now. And yeah, it was sort of funny how that came about with the Hawthorne connection. You obviously spent some time at the Hawks. And yeah, I guess Rick's just allowed us to use that space. It's a really nice space to shoot all our gym content and things like that. And you've obviously helped put some programs together. So just all, all the all the exercises we do that are both body weight, TheraBand exercises, dumbbell workouts, the bigger equipment that, that we, we do use as well. Just giving you insight and some programs as to how to train to be a footballer, not necessarily just train in the gym to get big, although that would be would be nice. And then we've got Jager O'Meara in there for a segment just doing biceps. But yeah, well, you obviously know what we've been doing in there. It's uh, been doing some pretty cool stuff and some of the best players in the comp have been sharing what they like to do in the gym. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the like the segments you talked about where you get to know the players and then briefing the ones watching the exercises, why and, and yeah. how to go about it, those those yeah. those attention to detail is a great insight and, and something yeah. unless you're in the bubble of AFL, you just wouldn't hear. So people get those um, tidbits is, is huge and goes a long way, yeah. especially in today's uh, world where there is there's YouTube channels there's information out there but if you can understand what to focus on when you're doing the exercise that will I know as a strength and conditioning coach that will go a long way for like you said all ages as well as adults that want to play at the highest level or, or currently are playing at the highest level so with the, the 2021 it's launching at the end of March how it work in terms of subscription I know you've got a website people can voice interest what, what are some steps for, yeah. for those that are watching now that want to hear more about the app and, and get involved. Yeah, so you can pre-register on our website, so ballmagnets.com.au. Um, just put your name down to stay updated for when the app does go live. We haven't picked a specific date, but we, we know roughly it'll be the end of March. And yeah, other than that, once it hits the app store, you'll be able to sign up through the app store, through the website, whatever is most convenient for you. But yeah, it'll be you'll have the option of choosing a monthly, quarterly, or yearly subscription. So um, we're still just determining the final bits around pricing and things like that but we want to make it affordable for everyone we want everyone to be able to have a go and uh, there'll be a seven day free trial as well so you can really have a good play around with the app and see the quality of content that we do and we'll have on there amazing mate well we'll head over to the fans i know they've sent through a few questions so we'll reel off a few uh, this one's from mac what does your pre-game routine look like pre-game routine so i suppose once i get to the ground i'm pretty structured most games are most players are pretty structured, so I'm normally the first one to get there. I like just to get there early, get prepared, and yeah, I like to see the physios as soon as I get there, get, get some strapping if I need it, get some treatment, and then you normally head to a massage table where you get your muscles loosened up and things like that, and then I like to do some DNS training, so a little bit about Mark McGrath, but I'll do some movement, a stretching type activity before we have our team meeting, 
and then head on to ground for a warm up before we play. So I uh, normally follow that routine. Fantastic. Awesome. Yeah, so you got an individual routine that you focus, which is good. This is from Stuart. At what age did you start taking footy super seriously? I started taking footy quite seriously. I reckon I was about 15 years old. So when representative footy and state footy started and you were eligible to play for Victoria or WA in my instance, yeah, that's when I probably started to take it serious. But it's different for everyone. Some people like to play footy just for the fun of it, and that's okay. Like it, It's meant to be fun, so you don't ever have to take it serious at all if you don't want to, but and there's no right or wrong. You don't, you know, there's no time period when you should take it serious either. It's if, if you want to take it seriously and take it as far as you can, then good on you. And if not, just have fun. Yeah. This one's from Cooper. Any superstitions? I normally eat lasagna the night before a game. I don't know if that's a superstition or a routine. I get to the ground first. I'm not sure if that's a superstition or a routine. Yeah, I, I do a lot of things, but I think it's just, I, it's a routine that I just do it over and over. So I'm not sure if it's a superstition, but I, I do like to have my routine in order. It makes me feel settled. You've played at Sydney and Hawthorne. So if, if so, it was there a player that had a similar routine to you get to the ground first and did he get it competitive well sam frost at hawthorne at the moment he's come from melbourne he's trying to beat me there so i'm have to, I'm have to at the moment i have to try and it's a bit of a race to get there first so i don't know if he's just doing it to annoy me but he's always there the similar time so we me and frost always race to the ground that's classic maybe uh you drive together and who, who gets out of the car first yeah race to the ro- race to the rooms right. competition starts that's great yeah this one is the found one on ball magnets. Here we go. So how many, you might have touched on it, but how many weights and running sessions oh, are you doing this week, sorry? What does it look like at the moment? Yeah, well, for me personally, we're obviously in the pre-season phase, so we're running and doing skills three times a week and weights, leg weights three times a week and upper body two times a week. So pretty big training phase in the pre-season. In terms of ball magnets, you'll get one footy session and one strength session a week as well as other content such as insights, uh, walkthroughs as to how we see the game, our game awareness, stoppage craft, goal kicking, Q&As, funny Q&As, little skits and things, tricks, trick shots and challenges. So there'll be plenty of content. Amazing. Yeah, I reckon that covers Emmanuel's question. This one, best advice for young kids aspiring to play in the AFL? Yeah, I, I don't think there's any substitute for hard work. I think if you really want to make it in the AFL, it does take a lot of dedication. So you've got to take it upon yourself i suppose to really look after your diet your sleep work hard on the training track recover your body all those little things do add up when you do it time and time again and that, that's where your improvement comes from yep emmanuel make, make sure to watch the first one as well because we go into detail tommy shares a lot of gems uh, on that very topic as well in the first episode how important is endurance in the scheme of things from aj yeah endurance is crucial especially being a midfielder you know your key position type players might, might have a bit more speed and power training in their programs but as a midfielder you need to have endurance because you're generally the ones that are running the most. So, yeah, I would say it's it's very important. Yeah. I just saw a question come through from Chris as well. He's just asking where you can buy your ball magnets hoodie, and I'm actually sitting next to a big box of them right now, so that's the wrong way around, but oh, they'll be, uh, they'll be yeah, on the merchandise. We've got some hats over here, hat, hoodies, tees, training singlet, shorts. That will all be uh, available to purchase through the app as well. So we've got some, some pretty cool stuff, which is good for training, but also is pretty cool as well. Yeah, I've, I've tried on the hoodie. It's I love it. Yeah, Very it's comfortable, good. mate. Yeah. Uh, this is another one from AJ. How much gym advice does the app give? Yeah, it will give give good advice both on technique and I suppose setting an intention for your session rather than just sort of floating through in the gym. So we obviously did a bit of content where we spoke about that, the importance of having a bit of a plan. So I think not only giving people a program but also educating on uh, the right way to attack a gym program. And I'm not sure if that's really spoken about too often in other fitness apps. So it'll be Something that's unique in terms of footy-specific training. Absolutely. This one uh, about Clarko from Lewis. What makes Clarko such a great coach? Yeah, for me, I see Clarko, obviously, as a great footy brain. More importantly, I see him more as a life coach. So I see that he has a lot of empathy for people. He's very caring. And he's more, if, if his players are in a good space off the field mentally, generally that translates to on the field of performance. So he's a genuine person who cares for his players and will do anything for you. And I think that's why the players buy into the messages he sells and that's where his success has come from. Last two, guys. So from Ethan, did your mentality change when you injured your leg? Mentality. Well, I, don't, I don't think it changed. I've always been a pretty driven person and that was probably... In footy terms, my biggest challenge, breaking your leg severely, is nothing easy to come back from. So that took a lot of determination and grit to to overcome it. So yeah, I was probably grateful that I'd instilled so many good habits into the way I approached my training that I was able to get through that challenge and come out the other side of it. Fantastic. This is a question that will flow into the next topic this season upcoming. So from Blake, who are you excited to play against this year? Play against. Excited to play against... 
probably the other ball magnets, Lockie, Lockie and Cripper this year. It'll be pretty funny. We'll have a good laugh. And Matty Rowell as well. It's going to be a good fun playing on those guys. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, so 2021 made. There's plenty going on both off the field and on the field for you. So it's a super exciting year. What's top of mind? What are you most excited about? I know the MCG's back in action. Yeah, what are some things that you're pumped about for, for this year? Yeah, plenty to be excited about. Yeah, I think having crowds back is going to be a big one. That'll bring a lot of atmosphere back, uh, a lot of excitement to the games. And in an off-field sense, I'm excited for the Ball Magnets app. Like, I've never really found a passion and a purpose outside of footy, I suppose. I've always tried uni and study and short courses and things like that. But this is something I'm really passionate about in developing people's dreams and giving some insight as to something that each of us as uh, players, and we, we know, I guess, with footy being our profession, what we're doing, and we want to share that insight to help others. So pretty excited by wherever this can go this year. Absolutely. Well, thanks for coming on again, mate, and, and sharing your, your experiences and giving us a bit more information on, on Ball Magnets and why you created it and, and the guy, the team that you've got on board. It's a real A team. I've met them all personally and, and yeah, all fantastic people as well as experts in what they do and, and their role with your app. So, yeah, got full faith. It's going to be huge, mate, and it's super exciting to be involved in the app as well and helping out at, at Edge Training. So, yeah, plenty of exciting things to come. And, uh, yeah, all the best for, for the rest of pre-season and season. I know intra clubs are, are ramping up now and practice matches are around the corner. So, uh, footy loads are, are all-time high. So, yeah, put good, all good stuff on, on the horizon. For anyone out there that if you missed uh, the first half of this chat, feel free to head over to either YouTube, Spotify, or, or iTunes. You can watch the recording. I'll upload it each Monday. So next Monday, this will be the next one. Episode 28 with Tom Mitchell. So thanks, mate. Thanks again for jumping on. Awesome. Thanks, Jack. Thanks for listening, everyone. Cheers, guys. Thank you for listening. Make sure if you enjoyed this episode uh, to join over a 1,000 footballers by subscribing to our website, preparelikeapro.com, and you'll receive free strength and conditioning both programs as well as presentations from our AFL Experience High Performance Coaches. If you're interested to work with one of our coaches at Prepare Like a Pro, you can email us at support at preparelikeapro.com or direct message us on Instagram and we'll have a chat and organize a either one-on-one training session with you or an online program. Thanks for listening, guys. All the best.